Well, part three of my Spitfire video is going to be the construction, final construction. So, we've got the underside of the wings are all painted up. The air screw and spinner, the wheels, the undercarriage legs, and uh, the exhaust stacks are painted up. The tail wheel. Cockpit is painted up and all glued in. Okay. We've got to still put the camouflage onto the upper wing surface and the fuselage halves. I've got to put uh, colour into the centre of the wheels and on the tail wheel bit there as well. And the exhaust stacks, although they're black at the moment, they're going to be done in gunmetal. Got to paint the pilot and the radio aerial and the rear of the tail and part of the canopy. But those bits are done at the end mostly apart from the bits on the uh, undercarriage so yeah it's all looking really good we can crack on with that right so i've finished putting the fuselage halves together and i've done a little bit of filler there was a small gap just the front of the cockpit there the rest of it was fine but i've rubbed that down smooth it put a little bit of mr filler it actually fitted really well together really tight really nice so that was good it wasn't necessary apart from where i messed up there's a bit under the nose where I hadn't really got that um, pushed tight enough together, so I put a bit more filler under there. The cockpit was an absolute pig to put in. Absolute pig. I wasn't happy with that. Nightmare. So that's ready for me to drop that onto there in a little while. Um, it looks like it'll be a lovely snug, tight fit. So that's quite good. Quite pleased. And then, of course, we've got to do the brown camouflage and then the underside on the fuselage with that colour. So yeah, it's all looking a tickety beautiful. Initially the fuselage halves looked really good. However, they've dried with noticeable seams along the top of the uh, fuselage, forward and rear. The um, wing roots are okay, they were nice and tight, but they did actually push things apart. So I've also had a little bit of a a, a go at uh, doing the underside to fill the seams in so we're ready to just just add some more paint on that and hopefully i've filled it and sanded it sufficiently to have nice smooth areas well the filling's all done i've glued the rod on so now it's a case of doing the camouflage pattern Ooh, i think i'm going to do this by hand with a paintbrush rather than an airbrush. Well, that took an inordinately long amount of time uh, to do the first coat by hand. Second coat should hopefully be a bit better because I've already worked out where the paint goes. But um, yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever done camouflage pattern on a 172 fighter before. It looks quite good. I'm wondering how good it'll look when it's finished. I think pretty, pretty good. Well, there's the painting finished. All I've got left to do now is paint the pilot and the cockpit frame and put the decals on. Looking pretty good. Bit of airbrushing, bit of brush painting. And uh, a bit of touching up. Quite pleased. Not bad at all. Well, there we go. The decals are on. I didn't like the ones in the box, so I've gone for 609 Squadron because I have a bit of a thing for them. PRL, they're extra decal letters, serial codes. Bit tricky, having a right old nightmare doing this. But there you go. That's looking quite nice.